Hi everybody, this is ATX Mom, and today I'm going to do a review of my Jujube diaper bag system, as well as a what's in my diaper bag video. So let's jump right in. This is my Jujube BFF bag, and this is in a print called Cobalt Blossoms, which has this really pretty kind of navy blue flowers with this lime green trim. Really, really love this bag, love the whole Jujube system. Um, I've been through several diaper bags since my son was born, and they were each, you know, too small, too large, not enough pockets, and I finally found a system that I'm just in absolute love with, um, which is the Jujube system. So let's start on the side pockets. The BFF comes with two kind of elastic pockets here on the side for bottles or sippy cups. Um, and one side, I always keep a bottle of water just for me to drink, to fill my son's cup, I just find that's really convenient to always carry. And then this is his sippy cup. This is a Munchkin sports bottle cup. And I like this cup because it's not as bulky in my bag as those little kind of short squatty sippy cups. So um, I really like this one to always keep in my bag. The front pocket here has um, a mommy pocket. And the mommy pocket has all of my stuff. So it has this great key fob where I keep my keys and our library card. Um, the reason I really like this is I don't have to dig in the bottom of my bag for my keys. I can just yank on this. Um, my keys pop right out and I always know where they are. In this front pouch here, I have my Jujube Be Thrifty wallet. And this is a great little wallet because it's really small and compact, but it's big enough to hold a lot of you know, credit cards, club cards, things like that without being super bulky. In this back pocket here, I have a Jujube coin purse. And I keep in my coin purse the things that I don't want to bulk up my wallet. So, you know, punch cards and um, I think I have a book of stamps in here. Just basically anything that would be too big to fit in my wallet, I keep in this little coin purse. On the other side here, I have a small set piece and the set piece has kind of all of my mommy goodies so i've got some hand cream got some smith's rosebud salve um, i really don't wear a lot of lipstick these days because i'm always kissing my son and i don't want to leave lipstick on him so um, this is a great kind of clear lip balm if you don't wear a lot of lipstick got some hair ties and just a little travel pill box that has some tylenol and some vitamins. Then in this zippered pouch back here, um, I actually keep in here coupons, things that I want to get to pretty quickly. And um, this is actually a note that my husband wrote me when we first got married that I always carry in my bag, kind of um, sentimental that way. So um, I keep that tucked in that little pocket. And then this is the sunglass holder. I like that the sunglass holder has this like, super soft material that you can use to clean your glasses, but I don't keep my sunglasses in here. They're pretty bulky and they're prescription and I'm always afraid that they'll get smashed. So um, instead I keep a tie to go mini pen and just a little fold out um, GGB pen. And I keep them in here just in case one of them should leak so that they would leak in this pouch and not in my bag. Um, on that note though, the entire Jujube, all of the bags are coated in a Teflon coating. So if you should spill something on your bag, it wipes right off. And then the inside of the bag, um, all the lining is coated with an antimicrobial treatment. So if you were to you know, spill a bottle of milk or something in here, um, it wouldn't get all kind of funky and moldy. Um, and then the beautiful thing is that all of the bags can go in the washing machine and they come out looking brand new, which I think is a really great feature for something like a diaper bag. This front pouch, this is a little um, kind of fleece-lined pouch that's inside here, so this is great for things like your camera. I keep my cell phone in here just so it doesn't get scratched up, so when I'm gonna, using it to record, it always stays there, and it's um, really convenient because I always know where it is. Um, another thing I love about the GGB bags is they all have this really great metal hardware with little rhinestones. Um, I've had a lot of bags with kind of really cheap plastic zippers that end up breaking, but this is really um, good quality um, 
hardware on all of these bags. I'm going to flip it around for you. Um, so the BFF bag has this kind of tote handle here at the top, and then it's got these great backpack straps. And the back of them is this really squishy memory foam, so they're really comfortable. Um, I actually wore this bag hiking with my son the other day, and, and I've got it pretty well packed. Um, full of stuff, and my back didn't hurt at the end of the day. It was really comfortable to wear for a long time. Um, it also comes with a messenger strap. I honestly haven't tried the messenger strap because I love the backpack strap so much. Um, and then just to show you, there's a back pocket here. Um, it comes with a memory foam changing pad. Um, I found the changing pad that comes with the bag. It's just too small for my son. He's almost a year old, and um, the, the changing pad is just too small. So it kind of makes my bag really bulky, and because I don't use it, I just took it out, and I don't really keep anything back there. So, let's go inside. Um, so, the first thing when you open it up inside, you'll see these plastic um, sleeves that you can put photographs of your kid in. Um, I would normally keep a photo of my son in here. Um, I just don't have pictures in there today. And then, this bag is my Jujube Be Quick. And I like this to put all of his diapering essentials in. So that way, if I'm out somewhere with my husband, I can leave the big bag with him and just grab the little wristlet strap. I take this bag with me to the restroom to change my son. I don't have to carry the whole bag. So um, inside this bag, you can see it's really roomy for what for you know a small what, what a small bag it is. Um, I've got my hand sanitizer. I have four size four Pampers Baby Dry diapers. I've got Pampers Sensitive Baby Wipes. I have two Munchkin disposable changing pads. Um, these are just, again, once I discovered that I didn't like the changing pad that came with the bag because it was too small, I just wanted something that I could throw in the Be Quick. Um, just in case I needed it while we were out and about. I've got a munchkin. These are the um, trash bags for diapers, and they have a really nice scent to them. Um, they're really little. They're kind of the perfect size. Um, if you're at a friend's house or something, and, or you're out and about, and you don't want to throw the diaper directly into the trash, you can put them in one of these little bags. And then I've got some Burt's Bees diaper ointment. Um, I've tried a few different diaper creams, and this has been hands down my favorite. I love that it's all natural. It's got a great scent. It's really thick, so it stays on for a long time. It works really, really well. Um, my son doesn't really get diaper rash, but if he does, it will, you know, take care of it in a day. I love it. Um, this bag also has a zipper compartment here on the inside. I don't have anything in here right now, but. It's a really convenient little bag. If you're just running to the market and you don't want to take your whole diaper bag, you can just grab the Be Quick um, with the diapering essentials and you're good to go. Underneath that, I keep a little friend, a little mouse. And then I picked up this bag. I found it for a dollar, actually, and I thought it was a really cute bag to keep his toys in. So if he's getting fussy and I need to grab a toy, I know that they're all in this little bag. And actually for how small it is, it holds a lot. So I've got this little cow, I've got a teething ring. This is, um, Newbie makes this teething ring. This is one of my son's favorites. This is a Fisher Price saw toy. And then I've got a little star for the ring. Um, so I thought, great deal for a buck and uh, it works really well. Then next to that I have his snack pod. Um, InnoBaby makes this snack pod and they actually sell them. Um, you can buy them a little bit taller but I liked this size for my diaper bag um, and I really like that you can clip these apart. So if you only want to carry one you can carry one or you can snap them all together and take the whole container. Um, and in here we have some Earth's Best Pop Snacks, they're called. They're like a little rice cake snack. Um, we've got some Annie's Organic Cheddar Bunnies, and then these are some organic puff, um, puff treats and some Cheerios. It's his little snack pod. And then bottom of the bag, 
This is the large set piece, and I use this to carry his change of clothes. Um, we live in Austin, so sometimes the weather can get really, really warm in the afternoon, and if I take him out in the morning in long sleeves, then I'll, I'll need short sleeves by the afternoon, so I keep a little, this is a 12-month, just a little t-shirt, and some pants, and some extra socks. And then I figure if he's getting a change of clothes, then the clothes he's wearing might be dirty. So I have this little travel size wet bag. Um, Cushies makes this wet bag. And I liked it just because it's really small and it folds up really small. So I keep that in here with his change of clothes. Okay. On the left-hand side of the bag here is the Be Mine. And the Be Mine is technically a wallet, but I find that it works really well for a med kit. So in the back, I have a couple packs of Advil for me, and then inside is everything for my son. So on um, this side, I've got some stickers. Um, these actually came with a first aid kit that I bought, and I thought it was a great idea to have stickers. You know, if, if he were to get hurt and need the med kit, he would probably need the stickers to cheer him up, so I keep them in here. Um, and then this is just standard first aid kit stuff. There's antibiotic ointment and burn gel and um, this is an insect relief um, wipe and some gauze. And then this side has some nail clippers, some Aquaphor, which um, is really great if they have any sort of dry skin or rash. Um, when they're really little, if they have cradle cap, that works really well. Some Oragel Naturals. I feel like my son is constantly teething, so um, this or gel is really important. These are some little uh, little kid printed band-aids, thermometer, a big band-aid, and then just this little travel Q-tip container that I keep his baby Q-tips in. Um, the reason I really like the Be Mine is because it's a pretty small bag. It holds, you can see that it holds a lot, and it fits so perfect on the side here the side pocket of the BFF. I love that about the GGB bags, that they all kind of work together as a system, keep everything really organized. On this right side, this is the medium set piece. And this has kind of restaurant wear, if you will. This is um, a pouch of plum organics, pumpkin and banana. Um, he doesn't eat this pouch food very often, but I like to keep some in my bag um, just in case, you know, we're out somewhere and he uh, needs to eat. And you, know, you don't have to worry about a glass jar breaking in your bag with these pouches, so I think these are great, They're very convenient. And a spoon, Got some baby mum mums, which are like a rice cracker, he loves those. And some Earth's Best teething, wheat teething biscuits. Um, he really likes these, we call these his teething cookies, but honestly they're really, really messy. As soon as they get wet, um, they kind of just turn into like this brown goop that gets on everything. So be warned. They're, they taste good, but they're really messy. Um, and then the last thing in here is the bee meat, which is actually a little bib. And I really like this bib because it has the same Teflon coating as the bag. It, everything wipes off it really easily. Um, it's got this little pocket. It's reversible. And it folds up so teeny tiny into its little pouch that it makes it really convenient to carry instead of a full-size bib. So, love that. Okay, um, you'll see that there is a zipper pocket here below where the photos are. I don't keep anything in that pocket only because I found that when I stuff that pocket really full then it um, it gave me less room in the mommy pouch. So I have been keeping it empty for a reason. All right, in the back here, I've got a baby blanket sunblock. Again, living in Austin, um, you never know when you go out for the day if the sun's gonna end up beating down on you. So um, I like having that little travel size sunblock. Um, we've got some boogie wipes, work really, really great. Um, they're also, my son, when he's um, getting his diaper changed, would, likes to play with the boogie wipes and open and close this little door, and it's a really good distraction. So, dual purpose of boogie wipes. They're good diaper changing distractors. Um, on this side, I've got passy wipes, and 
I know it seems like I have a lot of wipes. I'm not really a germaphobe kind of person, but um, I like having these wipes for anything that goes in his mouth because these are food grade wipes. So I feel like sometimes wiping things like sippy cups and passies, I don't like to wipe them with baby wipes because I feel like there's a lot of chemicals in baby wipes. Um, whereas this, um, they're just baking soda wipes. So um, I feel much better about things that go in his mouth having those wipes. And then we've got a board book on Mr. Brown, Can Me, Can You. Um, a little Dr. Seuss board book over there. And in this pocket back here, uh, more wipes. Um, these Clorox wipes, I pick these up just for things that are really, really grimy that I don't think a baby wipe will do the job. So in the, um, at the mall when you're in the, the high chairs and the food court are really kind of disgusting or a really gross shopping cart, um, I wipe down with a Clorox wipe. I've also got some Tums smoothies. Um, these are for me, not for my son. Just um, they work really well. I really like those for upset stomach. And then this is a little um, sewing kit. I picked this up for probably a dollar at Michael's. This is one of those. It's really, really small. Doesn't take up a lot of room. I throw it in there. I will probably never have to use it, but the day that I do need to use it, I'll be very thankful that I had it in there. So that's a good just in case thing for your bag. Um, and then the last thing is a Jujube Passy Pod. Um, my son doesn't really take a pacifier, and he only takes them when he's napping, but I like to keep them with me if we're in the car and it's close to nap time and he's getting really fussy. Um, I like to have them with me. And I like this Passy Pod because of the elastic that holds the passies in place. And this Passy Pod actually doesn't come in cobalt blossoms, if you're wondering why it's the only thing in my system that is not in that pattern. Um, but I really like this pattern too, pretty tweet, so I decided to get the Patsy Pod in that pattern. Um, so that is everything you see. It's a really big, roomy bag. It gives you the ability to keep things really, really well organized. Even when it's pretty jam-packed, it's pretty compact. It's not a huge, bulky bag. Um, I can't say enough great things about this bag or the Jujube system. I really, really love it. I will list out in the description all of the different kind of sub bags and what was included in them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking to buy a Jujube system and wanted to kind of see how it works, if you're just looking for ideas on how to organize your diaper bag, um, or if you're a new mom and you're looking for, you know, what should you carry in your bag. So um, I hope this video was really helpful. Leave me any comments and hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.